Um, God, I've never actually had to write like a script for a video before. Like I've written points like I have here, but like this is a bit of a proper script. I've never made mental health videos before and um, I wasn't planning on it. I, this was just going to be a comedy vlog channel thing. Um, I've been feeling really down lately. Um, physically, I've been really ill. Um, mentally, I haven't been the greatest um, to do with many things. It's not anyone's fault, but because I like to take on the pressures of my friends, I tend to feel down and I tend to get upset over little things. So for my benefit, but for anyone else's who is struggling with kind of the same thing, I've done a hard pills to swallow because of the meme. It's funny. So this is to help anyone who has struggled mental health and, and often feels like they have to look after everyone else's. One, your friend's happiness is not your responsibility. Lately, I've definitely been feeling like my friends who are sad, I've taken it on me. And you shouldn't do that. It's awful because it makes you feel more stressed and then you ultimately feel worse. Obviously, look after them, be there for them. That's the best thing you can do. But don't blame yourself for it. It's not, it's not good. Two, it is not your responsibility to look after a friendship that's definitely not working. If you want to keep a friendship alive, it shouldn't be one-sided. I know from experience, I am best friends with this person. They are really nice and we talk all the time, but lately they've been distant and we've argued a lot. And we say I love you a lot to each other, like a platonic thing, because I, I say I love you to all my friends. And I say I love you to them a lot because they are my closest friend for a while. And they've stopped saying it. And they've stopped wanting to text me. And they've stopped wanting to call me. And it sometimes feels like I am putting more effort. This is not okay. You, yes you, watching, it is not your responsibility to keep a friendship alive. If a friendship is not working, then it's probably not going to stay working. I have some amazing friends and I'm so thankful that they always check in on me and I'm, I always check in on them. I'm, like, I'm so thankful for Cassie, who I always film with, because she's been there for me and she has checked up on me and... <laughs> she's been there for me, she's checked up on me when I've been re feeling really down lately. And um, I'm really thankful because I've been, going to be honest, feeling a bit shit. <laughs> and she is literally the best friend I could ask for. So if she sees this, thank you. Number three. Your friends love you. You're just mean to yourself. A lot of my friends sometimes don't check on me because I tell them that I'm fine. And I used to think that they didn't check on me because they didn't care. They do care and they care so much about me and when I see them at school, they are so nice and they are there for me and I couldn't ask for better friends. But I'm mean to myself about it and I think nobody cares and I get cold and I don't talk to them and if you've got friends who you'd lie to and say you're okay, that's why they don't check on you. They do love you and they do care for you but the reason they don't check on you is because you've told them you're fine. You need to be honest with them when you're not happy. That is the truth. Number four, if a friend seems distant and you wanna keep that friendship alive and you're desperate, it's probably just better to let them go. I've been jealous of my best mate making new friends, um, internet and real life, whatever. I'm not gonna give them a name because then it makes it very obvious who I'm talking about. Um, and they've been making new friends and they've had friends before me and I don't know why, because we've always been so close. Sometimes when people stop wanting to call you, it's because they're making new friends and that's okay. 
they're still gonna want to talk to you unless they are extremely mean they're still gonna want to keep in contact if they appreciate you and love you but sometimes it's better just to let them do what they want because not all people are meant to stay friends and that's okay sometimes people just need to make new ones and have space and that's all right although you tell yourself it's not you tell yourself it's not okay and you tell yourself that it's your fault they're getting distant so you try and get more closer and it ends up pushing them away more because you're trying but at the end of the day if they're getting distant it's probably because they want space and that's all right it's not your fault it's and i know it's not my fault i may have argued with this person it's me wanting to get closer to them and then wanting more space this is why we're getting further apart sometimes you just need to let go and let them do what they want because then they'll learn if they're mean to you about it then they'll learn that you were a great friend in letting them go and they'll come back to you <sighs> hopefully finally number five your health is way more important than your friend's mental health this kind of links to the first one oh my god i need to learn this i have really bad anxiety and that's not due to anything around me kind of At, in my christmas video about two years ago i mentioned something i've called dyspraxia and it heightens my anxiety it also gives me no hand-eye coordination i can't ride a fucking bike and i actually had a huge panic attack the other day because i had an argument with this friend and i've started and i found out that he this person is also experiencing some stuff i started to pin it all on myself and i said i need to look after them and make sure they're okay but i wasn't looking after myself um and it's not good i know that and i'm getting better thank you to all my friends who are always there you shouldn't put your friends mental health before yours because you'll end up just feeling worse i got out of relationship i'm always single i got out of relationships because i didn't learn to love myself this year i tried to dedicate this year to just me and learning to accept myself when i stopped i pledged that in the end of january because i was in a relationship and it didn't go very well because i wasn't okay it's still a habit and i'm working on it and so that's my five hard pills to swallow i am going to get better by the end of the year and i think if you're watching this and you have struggled as well you should pledge to do these five things and make sure that you care about yourself this year i just high five myself that wasn't weird thank you for watching um this is more of a video for myself because i've not been feeling great lately but if you get anything from this i hope we can all learn together to conquer our mental health so obviously it's gonna be a long battle it always is if you could like if you like this video if you found it helpful you can subscribe if you really wanted to if you want to see more content like this um share it around if you know anyone who's struggling because i feel like about two months ago i needed this video thank you and i will see you whenever i upload next